Hello, my name is Bobby, and today I'm going to be showing you an example of how you can make the most of the new behaviors feature in Script Runner for Jira Cloud. In this example, I'm going to be hiding a field from users who do not have a certain permission set. So I, in this example, I don't want anyone who is not a project manager to change the priority field. So to enable that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to hide the priority field from anyone who does not have that permission. So as you can currently see, if I go to the customer success project where I'm not a project manager and I click on create, the priority field is available here for me to see and use. We're going to change that now. So to change that, I need to go to my behaviors feature. And then I'm going to click create behavior. Here I define the generic information about the behavior. So the name, so I'm going to choose Bobby high priority. I could write a description here. I want to ensure that the behavior is enabled and then I'm going to define where I want this behavior to execute. So the projects, so customer success and the issue types, I'm going to limit this to story for now. Next, I need to define the fields that are actually impacted and how they're impacted. So in this example, I'm going to be choosing to add a field and then I need to select the affected field. So if I'm going to be hiding the priority field, the field that's going to be affected is priority. I then click next and I'm greeted with two options. First, when the script is going to run and second, a code box for me to enter modifications. So to, def to define the first section, we need to choose when the script will run on load, which is when the screen loads up or on change when a field is changed, i.e. when the user is interacting with that field. Because we don't want the user to interact with the priority field at all, we're going to choose on load so that it's hidden straight away. Next, we need to add the code, which I'm going to do now. So I've now added the code. As you can see, I actually used an example code snippet below, show priority field to a specific role, and I've changed the role that we're applying this to. There are a number of options here for you to choose from as starting points. Just to run through the code, we're making an API request for the user. We're then getting the user itself, and then we're using the account ID to get the groups that that user is applied to. We are then getting all of the roles in a list. We're defining the role that we want to look for. And if the role we're looking for is not in the list of roles available to the user, we're setting the priority field set visible as false. I can now click add and that adds that field here. I can then click save and that behavior will then save. This behavior will now execute in my project. So if I go back to the customer success project and I click create, you can see here that the priority field disappears and I'm no longer able to interact with that field. This is a simple example. I hope you've enjoyed it. Have a great day.